Uh, hi everyone, I uh, just want to introduce you to uh, what I think is a better tensioner knot. Uh, I'm going to call this thing an arrowhead guy line tensioner or arrowhead guy line hitch maybe. Um, and I'll show you how to how to tie it really quickly here. There is your uh, your tent. Down here is your tent stake in the ground, and you want to tighten this rope so that your rain fly is uh, nice and tight. Now, typically, what you do is you tie a taut line hitch or a rolling hitch by tossing this line over. All right, you've gone down and around your tent stake, you've come up, tossed your line over, you put two loops in like so and you cross over up toward your tent or your rain fly and uh, make a hitch there tighten it down a bit cinch it up and there you are that's your typical taut line hitch it's a rolling hitch if you, uh, instead of putting your two loops in side by side, if you cross over, take this second loop and cross over the first, that makes a rolling hitch. Um, but either the rolling hitch or the taut line hitch that uh, are almost exclusively used uh, in this context, neither one of them are great knots. For this, they're both borrowed from sailing, and they are great knots for uh, wrapping a smaller line onto a bigger line, and taking the tension off the big line by pulling tight uh, the taut line hitch or the rolling hitch. Um, there's a, a website. Uh, I'll tell you the name of it. Sailing Simplicity, or a YouTube channel, uh, not a website. Um, well, it's a website as well, I see. Uh, but on Sailing Simplicity, they've got five essential sailing knots, and uh, they give a good uh, demonstration of the use in sailing of uh, a, it's either a rolling hitch or a taut line hitch. What do they call it there? Rolling hitch, looks like. Um, they show you what that's for. And uh, if you already know it, well, then it's simple. You can tie it and it'll do the job, but uh, it doesn't do the job as well as something I discovered recently by just playing around with this. Um, and the most amazing thing about this was I didn't have to play around with it a bunch. It turned out that I thought as I looked at those first two wraps, I thought, why go up there? Why not tie something here and uh, get a better result? Because clearly this, when you come up here either this way, which I think is actually better than tying taut line hitch uh, the other way, this stays together and looks much nicer and is more memorable. Um, but you notice as you tie something like that and you put tension on this, <clears throat> the tension all starts with the very first loop. And the reason this loop doesn't come undone is it bumps into the second loop. And then this third thing that's up here, it's really not doing anything. You'll notice as you pull this tight, you can undo this, right? There's no tension on this top not. It's just there because if it isn't there, right, the thing will slide. But uh, either that direction or the one it's traditionally turned, you could see what's going on. It's a lot of shadows. Sorry about that. Um, either way, when you put tension on this, this part can just be untied, right? The only function it provides is a lock to keep this from unraveling, but it doesn't help 
provide friction or tension. And a tensioner, right, should be all about tension. So how to make this better? Come back this way and do uh, something else, namely this. Instead of going up this way, come around and dive down through that little hole that appears and tighten that down. And look what you get, a beautiful diamond shape. And uh, what I'm gonna call it uh, is an arrowhead shape because what better kind of a knot <laughs> could you have for camping, right, than an arrowhead knot. So, <clears throat> right, scouts should totally get rid of the dumb taut line hitch, that's a sailor's knot, and have their own arrowhead knot, right? An arrowhead hitch, or a uh, arrowhead guy line tensioner knot, hitch. Um, it tightens up. Notice when you tighten, or pull, once it's tightened, once you pull on this, you get, uh, right, the work begins with that first knot like always, then there's a second, then there's a third. So, uh, what is that, 30%, 33% increase in friction applied to the standing line over the taut line hitch. Uh, it's easier to tie, I think. Well, I've been tying it a while. Maybe it'd be a little tricky the first few times someone ties it. Um, I don't know, is this hard? You go around and down through this hole and then just push it and tighten it. I think it's really easy. Um, it's easy to untie. You loosen it and it's got a back that you can break, right? Just like you break the back of a bowling. Um, if you have any trouble getting the back to break, you can really take a fingernail on each side of this and wiggle it back. So, uh, so there you have it. A super simple uh, knot to replace the taut line. Uh, better for campers, because arrowheads and camping go together, right? And uh, great for scouting. Um, the, I've looked and looked, right, everywhere for this knot. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else. Uh, I saw something close to it from Laura at North Star uh, Bushcraft. And uh, she tied something that went like this and then went around in the same direction, dove back through this loop. And that is a great little knot as well. Now, it does leave a gap here when you put tension on it. Um, it doesn't quite do what the arrowhead uh, does, but it's still a great improvement over the taut line. Um, so uh, try it out, see what you think. Uh, you may really like uh, the arrowhead uh, alternative to the taut line hitch and uh, have fun.